The inauguration program provides leadership ambassadors the chance to see the sights, learn about leadership, and experience new and exciting things with peers and friends. However, an important part of any people-to-people -people program is service to others. And in this case, it was about recognizing and honoring people who serve American citizens every day, our men and women in the armed services. The day started with guest speaker, Lieutenant Colonel Mike Sunstead of the United States Air Force. He is an Air Force One pilot and his career included failures, but his story taught an important lesson about perseverance. Well, we talked about goal setting today and we talked about a whole bunch of things that help you achieve goals. Um, perseverance is extremely important because not everything is going to go your way all the time. In fact, some, most goals need to be uh, challenging uh, in order to, be, uh, to set the bar really high. And it's important to understand that you are going to face challenges and whether you can go above them, around them, or through them, you have to figure out a way if that is truly what your goal is. After an awesome time with Lieutenant Colonel Sunstead, the leadership ambassadors were out the door and on their way to pay respects to current and former service members. Before we left, students were encouraged to write a letter thanking these people who would sacrifice life, limb, and self to protect the ideals and freedoms of America. It was a great opportunity to learn about past conflicts, how they shaped our nation, and how we can remember and pay respect to those who served or are currently serving. I was able to witness one student giving her letter to a current service member. It, it really touches my heart whenever the kids do something like that. I mean, but that they know that you know we're we're, we're here to, for them and to protect them and for their future. So um, it means a lot whenever we hear from the kids. When I was overseas, we got stuff from them, and that I read every one of them. We also had the chance to visit Arlington National Cemetery. Nestled on 624 acres, service members who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country during times of war are laid to rest at Arlington, where they can receive the respect and honor they deserve. There are some 400,000 graves, including notable people such as President John F. Kennedy, whom students were able to lay a wreath for to honor one of the nation's great leaders and visionaries. It's not every day you get nominated to lay a wreath on President Kennedy's grave or the eternal flame. I mean, it's just one of those cool things that you probably won't get a chance to do again. Arlington National Cemetery is also home to the Tomb of the Unknowns, remains of unidentified soldiers from World War I, II, and the Korean War rest here, guarded 24 hours a day, seven days a week since 1937. Students had a chance to witness the changing of the guard. Being a leadership ambassador goes beyond just traveling and having fun. It also includes serious thought into how to become a leader. Students learn through their service project that leadership is just as much about serving others as it is about actually leading.